So I'm just going to show you quickly how I use the CPS flow hood, um, low flow mode, because I know they say, oh, don't use it unless it's um, above 50 CFM, don't use the, or unless it's above 50 CFM, you have to use this here plate. So I usually tell whether the plate's necessary or not. Just go ahead and try it without. If I'm getting that type of flow where you can barely see it turning, it's just barely turning, like it's not even registering. I know I'm gonna need that plate. Let's go ahead and take the plate there. Then just go to low flow mode. Like such low volume. Now we start it. Here we go. We got about 20 CFM. Regular. I want to go no from low flow on that. And about 41. Try the difference between that and the low flow plate. Showing about 25 CFM. I think that's going to be a lot more accurate. Take this and get our hood situated. I think it should work with or without the hood accurately, but I found that the hood's a bit more accurate. That's giving us about 20 CFM with the hood. It's probably about right. Yeah, it's just way too low airflow. Similar there at 17 point CFM. I'll show you how it works.
Now I got much more airflow coming up here. So got our normal mode. Supply, put it on regular start. 61 CFM more like 62 CFM I'm going to try real quick at this taking this off see if I get the same basic flow See if I'm higher. Eighty three. So, yeah, that's how I use my CPS flow hood. It's always good to use the actual hood itself because if you try using it just by itself, it's going to be a little bit high. I think it's just too close to the actual uh, vein, it's just got too much velocity. So that hood right there helps to slow the velocity down some. Um, just give you more average velocity across the face there, uh, the face of the uh, low straighteners. So that's pretty much it. Uh, simple demonstration of this CPS flow hood in the residential app application. Alright, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.